Foot like a bee, Danny Boy here, and welcome back to another episode of, or a brand new episode and a new map of Modded Republic, uh, Workers and Resources, Soviet Republic. Uh, Modded Republic is what I'm naming it because if I go into here and go into mods, I've got literally a ton of them. Pretty much everyone I thought that sort of looked okay and made sense on the Steam Workshop, so. Quite a lot. There's like 90 pages of mods to go through on Steam Workshop. 91. It's soon going to be at 92. Every time I look back at it, there is slightly more. So here is our map. Yes. Uh, wait, how do you make this bigger again? Hide mini map. Yes. Hold to move size. Right, so. Here's our map, so we've got a few border checkpoints, and this is the Soviet border. Uh, we've got lots, we've got a checkpoint there, checkpoint there. Uh, we go off into the corner. This is where we're actually going to start, the corner. I've got a few modded checkpoints as well. There's this little one here that actually is just a, it's just a footpath. It's kind of weird, but uh, it's there. So... Got all that, there's a river that splits the map in two, uh, from border to border, and there's this river which I kind of created myself, that goes up to the top. Now, what we're going to try and do is, uh, down at this corner, right here, so if we go down here, we right, so this is obviously the NATO border, and this is the Soviet border. Now, I have built... A gravel road. As you can see, I'm starting with 50 million. I gifted myself quite a lot of money. And I am going to build as much as I can on my own. But right now we're doing this. So I built a road along here. Now this is going to represent a split between east and west. So on the left hand side of the map, where the Soviet border is. And I'm going to put fences and stuff down. It's going to take a long time. I've been experimenting with it. So on the east side we'll do everything from the Soviet USSR and on the east side we'll do stuff from like East Germany and Europe and use all the vehicles and stuff from there. So this ma this road splits the map in half. Now we're going to do something like this. So I've built this. So every time we need to cross over we're going to build like a border checkpoint and I'm going to try and build this wall all the way along. Now I'm going to do that <laughs> Not during playthrough. It's a really super difficult. Like this looks pretty bad now because there's a little gap there. Uh, the one over here, there's a little gap there. So these walls are in monuments and they're super hard to place. These are monuments as well, like a BMP and stuff. And we'll get some other stuff from the the western side to guard their borders, etc. So I think that's going to look pretty cool once I get it finished. As I said, it's going to be one of those long, arduous uh, processes that's going to take a phenomenal amount of time. Even just messing about with this, because I've got so much mods and stuff. This is a bus stop, but it's actually a checkpoint, so it's pretty cool. Uh, these are these are bus stops as well. So we've got one with the open gate, one with the closed gate. There's also ones for rail, etc., etc., etc. So. We're going to do something like that, so on the west we'll have western vehicles and buildings. Uh, it's kind of hard to tell the difference for some of them. And on the east side we'll have the Soviets, so that's something I'm going to try and do. I'm actually looking forward to doing that. Now we're going to have much different towns, uh, many different towns. Uh, you resize map to about there. In fact, we'll have a look at the resources, so I haven't touched any of these. So there's coal, iron, uh, oil, and uranium. This one here, right, it's all sort of spaced out. And then this area here on top of this mountain was like a really dark red color. And there's lots of uranium there to be had. It's a really rich source, but it's on top of a mountain. So I'm going to be able to use like the other, uh, the cable car. Yep, yeah, that's it. So... I've actually not assigned any of these yet. I would like to. I can't remember how you assign keys. Uh, I'd like that to be one. Oh, one. 
Alright, so sine 1. How do you assign stuff? Again. Alright, so let's have a look. Uh, free rotate building. Press M. Press key to assign M. Uh, what? No, M is the map. That doesn't make sense. M is the map, right? And uh, decrease bridge height. Press key to assign M. But M is the map. M is toggle the map on and off. So I'll have to look for that. It may be something I can do in controller settings. Yeah, can I rebind this? Press key to assign. Uh, what key is not being used? Z being used? Z. Okay. Z. No, Z is the map. Z is the map now. So I think this is uh, <laughs> controller settings. Uh, M. We'll keep that as map. Do I have to click and drag it? Roads. One. Two. One. Ah, okay. So dirt road, I want gravel road. Uh, asphalt, not so much. There's a couple other things like paths. We'll get paths in on three. Uh, maybe medium voltage wires. On four, and I'm probably gonna, probably going to be using these. Uh oh, uh, how do I delete that? <laughs> uh, right. Oh no, that's paths. Yeah, okay. Paths on three. Medium cables. Medium voltage cables. Uh, large voltage cables on six. And we'll take stuff like, should have done this offline. Yeah, heating pipes, small, heating pipe, large. And maybe go like, hmm, oil pipes, probably not so much. Maybe conveyors or something. Hold on. What if I do road cancel and path cancel? Because that's ones we're going to be using quite a lot of. Right. So we're ready to go. We're ready to get sort of building. Now, we've got some interesting mods. Now, first of all, let's go to the mods. And I want power plants and a heating plant. So we've got lots of different ones. Uh, this one consumes fuel, which is pretty good, and I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna actually use that. Now the problem is I don't know what a lot of these look like. I did test a lot of them and sort of place them around, uh, so that's that. But so what is this? So consumes coal, consumes bitumen, coal. I want one. That's nuclear fuel. I want one that consumes wood. Right, a power plant that consumes wood. That's perfect. Is there others? Uh, no. Nuclear waste. Solar? No, that's not solar. Uh, twin nuclear reactors. Twin nuclear pressurized water reactor. Fusion reactors. Wind turbines, electric generator. Creates two megawatts of power, I would imagine it wouldn't. The RTG shed, now this one consumes absolutely nothing and it just makes power. So this is a bit of an OP one, but I kind of like it. Coal, 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 coal. 
coal, bitumen, fuel. That's fuel as well. That and that. Now, we're going to go with the wood one first. Charcoal. No, that's coal. Yeah, charcoal power plant. We could get that up and running because we're going to be making charcoal. The one that consumes wood. This one, the wood power plant. Now, it kind of looks like a bitumen sort of plant, but I want it kind of near the border. Now, we're going to start here. In fact, am I going to be importing my own resources? I may be. Uh, actually, what I want to do as well is go to list of lines, no, this, city area, clone, where is the button to turn on the wire grid? Okay, screw it, no wire grid, uh, go back in here, mods, where were you, charcoal power plant? Wood power plant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, right. So, wood power plant. Now, it's got three electrical points on it. Which is pretty good. Now, I can't export power out there, but that's okay. Yeah, you see, this ain't rotating. To a point where I think it's at least flat. because the border is not... The border is not straight. That's okay, though. Right, I'm gonna build that out there. I really want the wireframe. Uh, show wireframe, it's right there. Yeah, so about there. Let's zoom in on this because I can't really see anything. Uh, mod power plant accepts wood. Yes. Right, that looks relatively flat there. Now, auto build using rubles, no. We are going to build the first starter towns and stuff on our own. Build that there. Right. So, we've got that in. Perfect. Now, what else do we want? We want heating, so we'll go to modded heating plants because there's another one that accepts wood uh, heating plant so coal bitumen 10 tons of wood but i think there's a smaller one aggregate storage import open space storage import consumption at maximum five tons of coal on so that's the charcoal power plant Block heating, oil, electric heater. <laughs> That's one of the, the ones that takes nothing and just gives you uh, heating. Here's another one. Large geothermal plant. The same. Uh, cool, but we're not going heating plant. Right, and this one will take uh, wood, it looks like. Right, hold left mouse button to fly in. Okay, so we're going to have to pay for some of this. Now we're getting super OCD on the... Alright, now I can get that back in there, I think. If I can remember where the hell it was. Actually, I'm going to have to turn it round. That sucks. And it doesn't want to turn around. Okay, well, that's okay. Leave it this side. And I'll just have to work the heating pipes round the other way. And now it doesn't go straight. So you need to spin it all the way around again. There we go. Alright, you go in there. Right, so, we've got wood and wood. Now, 
We are going to get a... Let's have a look. Forklift lines. Now, there is a mod for doing... Mod, it is conveyor, roads, no, it's... There's so much here. What am I actually looking for? Something to do with forklifts, obviously. Uh, road vehicle, depot, storage, residential monument, gas station, conveyor, pipe, engine, ship, dock, custom house, blah blah blah. Container facility, cargo station, forklift facility. Right. Road crossing connection. Right, how do you go right in the middle there, like so? Right, I want mud roads for this. <gasps> Too sharp a turn? No, negatory. That's a perfect turn. It will go if I do it like this, though. There we go. Right, I'm going to have some sort of storage as well. We're going to need some sort of storage. Uh, so bring that. In fact, leave that there. Right, bring this across here. Now, we're going to do mud roads for this first little small starter town. And then we'll up the ante after that. Right, now, where else? The forklifts want to go. Yeah, one can go over here. Okay, that's perfect, actually. Now, wait, what about the facility? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So go to mods again and cargo station. Now, it would be storage. So, would it be cargo station? It would be storage, facility, custom house, train depot, power station, university, construction. Where is it? So many. Storage. That is. My god. My god. Is this one huge? Yep. Smaller. Smaller cargo station. Hold on. I don't know what this actually is outside of map. Well, it's going to be inside map. So just give me a second. It's got no. It's got no forklift connection though. It really is just a storage facility. It doesn't have the forklift. Right. Extremely large. Large. Bound to be large. Oil storage. Open warehouse. Probably doesn't take wood. Resources needed to build, open storage space, yep, it, it does take wood. 980 odd tons of stuff. It's just outside of the map there. So we need something even smaller, okay. Twin rail, large, large, large vehicle storage. See, we've got seven of these. People's silo. <laughs> Small aggregate storage. Two track open, open storage, one track open storage, large warehouse, large warehouse, meat storage, grain, rural store. Whoa, 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 what do you take? Ah, okay, that makes sense. Rural store, left, right. Uh, we're looking for stuff that takes wood. Large grain elevator, small, aggregate storage, small, aggregate storage, open storage, small, but how small? Really small. Now, unfortunately, you're facing the wrong way. Is that an issue? It could be. Could be an issue. Right, if I can get you close into there. Right, this might work. So go one for dirt roads. Run that 
round the back there. Pop you into there. Right, we can't do the good old right angled turns. Ooh, it's so close, right? I think if I delete this, right? And then get that. And now I'm bring you in here. Uh, cancel this road, and I'll try and curve it round. I can curve it round. Okay, if I delete that, is it going to look stupid? Kind of looks stupid. I don't know if that will actually work. Right, have that go there. No, 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 no. Pop it in there. Right. That could be slightly better. Right, so, this is in. Now we've got a little storage, so this is for the heating power plant. Now obviously I'm going to have to get heating pipes that come out. So infrastructure, I want construction, I want a mods. Uh, now there is heating plant, but some of these are like electric heating plants, small, like pumping stations and stuff. So that's an extremely large heating plant. Go to one. Uh, charcoal. Small biomass heating plant. That could be cool. Small left brick. Large geothermal. Now I don't think it's under like pumping station. I think it's genuinely under here. Heating plant. Electric heating plant. I mean, what's this? Medium right brick. <laughs> A smaller heating plant. Heating exchanger, heating plant. Okay. So, heat exchanger, heat exchanger. So, I don't think there's any modded heat pumping station. Heating transfer. There is. I lie. Ooh, this would be absolutely amazing. Uh, overpass rail. Yeah, that's a lot. Now the thing is, these are small. Or are they? No, I think they're large. Ooh, right, that is pretty big. So we want it to go which way? Right, let's just look at them all. Okay, that's something. And that is something as well. So if I was to place that in there, it would never... It would never work. Right, hold on then. Heat in pipes. Oh, I've got heat in pipes up here, do I? Yeah, eight. Right, I'm going to be practicing using this. E... Oh wait, oh well, we've got a roller coaster thing happening. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> Come down to about there. Right, now we'll have to do the same with most of these, one would imagine. And then I want you to go across to there. Right. Uh, heat, small heating pump, heat pumping station. Right, I'm actually going to leave that over there. And I'm going to leave it further out, actually. So, you... Oh no, need this. 
Uh, where's my wireframe? Lost the wireframe. I have it go roughly about in there. Right, build that there. Yeah, just get it placed. And then I'll see if I can connect up this. Now I want this to come round. And then go out that way. And then come round into there. So that's one. Uh, okay. Don't need free excavator in there at all. Whoa, that's a weird... It's quite a tight turn for that. I didn't think it would be able to do that. Now we're going to come out of this one. Go up. Uh, let's spin us round. And we've not even built a single residential building as of yet. Out here. Okay, that looks kind of weird. I'm actually not too impressed with this section. I don't think for some reason that is particularly going to work. Right, hill is in the way. Now, if I curve it around that way, I think I'll be able to get it in. I think I'll be able to make it look nicer. There we go. It's not the nicest, but it's something. Right, you don't snap to there. You come out and head up. Right, it was going to go somewhere. I just want you to come up slightly, so... Zoom in. Uh, this is probably not the best angle to do this, but oh well. Eight. E. Alright, we'll start going up about there. What if I take it up from this side then? Some other infrastructure is in the way. Whoa, this is super complicated. You know what? <laughs> Eight, heating. Right, remove. Remove, 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 remove that. Remove this, that. Uh, that monstrosity, this, that. And anything that's round the back there, right. Road removal tool. Right, now. Back into the mods. So, heat transfer was up here. Let's go with the first one, yeah, let's go with one. Stay simple. In and out. So one there. Who needs flat terrain? Right now, it looks like I'm gonna need road in between. Oh, did not count on that. Come out a tiny little. Is it a little sliver? as much as you can. Or wait. Yeah, delete that. Push play. Push pause. Mods. Now there's a three and a one. Heating transfer. Uh, I think it could be this one. Yeah, three and then out. To three. I may have to move. the heat pumping station. Right, 
so that is in there. Uh, go for eight. Yeah, I think it needs to be further away to get that in. Oh my god. This is a nightmare. <laughs> this really is a nightmare. Uh, right. Delete this then. Uh, hello, bulldozer. Should have kept the bulldozer up. Right, delete that. Oh no, I need the actual infrastructure bulldozer. What's going on? Why can't I do it right? Mod. This. Get that in. Will you go actually straight? No, you're always going to be slightly squint. Why is that? It's kind of annoying, but oh well. Will you not just, not just line up with that? This does not want to go straight at all. Unless we do something like this. Heating overpass, right. Go eat, yes. Hill obstructing justice. Negative. No hill. No obstruction of justice. Let's get you in there. Oh, that's not going to work, so I need to get the road in. Oh my god. <laughs> Whoa, this is phenomenally dumb. Why heating overpass? Yeah, it went three input and one output in that direction. Right, you're kind of getting the gist of your game. You just need to line this up. So it will go perfect that way. And it's now gone perfect that way. Okay, connect that up. Give me my dirt road. Connect that up there. Connect this up to here. Go eight for the heating pipes again. Now, if I can bring you round to about there, and then there, bring this one. <gasps> Hill obstructing justice. Right, there we go. And then bring that one round there, and into there. And then we can set, okay, right, my god. Dear lord. <laughs> right, we got that up and running we'll see eventually woofed that was something else right get the heating pump exchanger majigger conjigger in right let's go heating transfer do we have any small splitter needs flat terrain okay but do you have a small splitter for like large sort of stuff Heat pumping station. Now this is what I'm speaking about. Alright. Look at this. Oh, that's sweet, actually. Uh, right, have that going there. Pop. Eat again. Right, hill obstructing justice. But not if I do it like that. Have I left enough room? I have. Right, you go back down to there. Look at my OCD. Sweet. Uh oh, why too sharp a turn? Are you shitting me? Can't be. <laughs> no way. 
There's no way that is too sharp of a turn. Oh, right, okay. Now it worked. There you go, that's even sort of flat as well. Right. Now, I'm going to build this. Build that. Build that. So we're starting to make a small dent in our 50 odd million kajillion rubles. Build that. Am I going to need a forklift office for this? Open st storage small. Can I even see that? Is that even a thing? Oh, it's just this tiny little thing here. It's okay. 30 tons of wood will be fine. Yeah, 30 tons of wood is going to be okay. If no, I can always build the storage over here. I'll like go over here and get the forklift to drive it in. Right, I'm not going to build this yet. For reasons. Uh, let's get the roads in. Right, so we'll turn you that way then. Uh, right, the road potentially go down there. Okay, doesn't like that. If you don't like it, game, I don't like it. Right, now this looks like it will not take coal. There's no way to get coal in. There's no conveyor or anything. Or there, there might be. Oh, no, it's wood. Okay, so we're going to have to deliver wood in. Okay, slightly squint there. That's okay. Alright, so just build that. Build. Only the rubles. We're into the first of May. Right, now we want people. Oh, look at that. So straight. It was like it was meant to be. Uh, pause the game, because we'll be into winter before we actually know what the hell is going on. So how many workers do you need? Five. Sweet. Five I think I can handle. What's your pollution? Uh, no wood supply, work day. Uh, I don't know what your pollution rate is. That could be intriguing. Right, we'll have to make sure that the bus or the houses are sufficiently away. Right, modded. Let's go residential. If I can find it because I just want this to be like a little village sort of, pla uh, sort of place. Kindergarten, village, sport hall, train. Where's residential? So much stuff. Monument residential. I'm right on it. <gasps> Look, see? Just a little house like this. That's all we need. <laughs> right, that's maybe too small. We're in page 2 of 36. Jesus. What's that? Oh, wait. This is actually something I was considering getting. Is it? How many people do you hold? A hundred workers, really? Nah, can't be. That's like a ridiculous amount of people. There's no way that takes a hundred workers, right? Yeah, maybe something like this. Now we're right on the border. Spin it around so it's flat. Right, I'm not going to get the straight one that I need. Yeah, I just want this to be small. Now generally, as a rule of thumb, if this is in range of the actual heat and plant... Right, I'm going to push play on that because I want to see what it actually looks like. It's a tent! Do we want a tent? I do want tents, but I don't want them here. I'm going to have tents in one of the logging camps. Right. <laughs> Remove that. Yes. Go away, please. Yep. 
Can't demolish. Some workers are still living here. Oh no. Uh, go away. How do I sell the workers? Right, hold on. Push pause. Right, so that's something else I'm going to have to do is actually set it so that workers don't come in. Right, so these are tents for the army and stuff. Beta house. Right, we're looking for sort of wood sort of cabins and stuff. Like this. How much do you take? Four workers? That's not a lot though. Uh, come down here, come down there, nah, what's that? Dongle apartment, right, there. those are super large. So I think I'll be able to flick through this fairly quick, because I think I know what I'm looking for. Like this, a village street. <gasps> a village street. How much workers do you hold, village street? Where did it go? Hold on, wait, what? Oh, it's there. Village Street 1, 12 workers. Okay, 12 workers is not a massive, huge amount. I'm going to build that in there, though. Right, can I relocate? Uh, relocate up to 10 citizens in there. Get some more in there. Right, how much people are in the tent now? 19. <laughs> this is really nice. I like this. So this is just going to be a small village uh, for the wood cutting post. And the wood cutting posts that we're going to have. Construction, mods. Right, page 12. Like this is a brick house, tiny little brick house. Right, where's my village street? Why do you keep leaving? Ah, right, there we go. Right, make. Because this one is slightly... Slightly smaller. Uh, again, why have you forsaken me? I have no idea if that is flat and or straight but village house 6 you are in relocate some workers to that once it's built right it wasn't it wasn't flat oh well building is without power all right relocate relocate more all right we're <laughs> down to 17. Uh, back into here. Right, should probably build a few of these. And what we'll do as well, we'll get some footpaths. So, bring that, like, out there. Okay. Back in here. Right, Village Street 14. So it's all different variants. I like this. I like this a lot. You've got to love the mods. They just give games so much more. That there's not a lot to do in this game. On the contrary, there's a hell of a lot to do in this game, but... Alright, relocate some of you guys to there. Really? Everyone go there. 13. One tent held like 50 billion people. Which I find rather interesting. That path, gravel path. Out there, I'm going to have another gravel path that goes down here. Alright, push pause again. Alright, how much is left? 13. So if I build one more house, uh, 13 workers, Village Street 14, Village Street 13, here we go, Village Street 13, where are your paths? Around that way, and what we're going to do is, 
actually place you in this way. Right, push play, build that, pause. Right, dear god, that was insane. Woofed, uh, move you 13 to there. There we go, all of them, please. I don't think all of them moved, no, eight? What? There's still more people in here. What is going on? Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, build this across here like so. Get that into there. That into there. And that into there. Uh, we're going to need another couple of houses. Mods, five workers. Don't know where your path is. Apparently it's over there. So we'll have one go in there and another one going in there. Right, push play and build that up, please. Right, you relocate and relocate. Five in there, five in there, but said there was eight left. <laughs> Productive age workers, four. Okay, so we need another one of those buildings. Okay, back in here. So we used 16, right? Let's go with six. Right, is there one that takes eight? Four. Eight workers. Oh my god. Right, eight workers. Right, that's built. You guys move to there. Ah, right. I, I, I know what's happening now. I understand the predicament I've placed myself in. So I am building these, so mods, there's one with four, right? Uh, and we don't want to get citizens. Get citizens, no. That's why they were arriving like half full and stuff. Right, so build that in there. And relocate some workers. To there. Okay, that's four of eight. Relocate this one dude to there. Right. Demolish this. Yes. Oh, uh, no. One. Get me road. <sighs> Not gravel road. Dirt road. Connect that to there. Push pause again. Because uh, I want to get farms going as well. Not in this episode, but at some point. Right, I want... Now, how small is the smallest bus station? Again. Bus platform, huge. Bus station, small. Still pretty huge. Bus station, really small pretty huge and it won't connect because of other infrastructure. Okay, so we'll get a modded one for that. Uh, platform and station. Bus stop. There we go. Then I can connect it to literally everything. Ah, come on. Get in there nicely, please. No, you don't want to do it. I mean, that road there is super... There we go. Super straight. Right, so that's apparently a bus stop. Uh, go to paths. Let's get some paths. 
down there, connect you up to there, connect this. Well, you'll have to connect up that way then. Connect that to there. Bring this round the back, like so. Ah. Right, push play, build all that up. Turn the wireframe off. There we go. We've got the start of a little village. Now we'll have to get shops and stuff. Uh, what do you take again? Five workers. So literally these people here will probably go and work in there. I mean, there's only four people in there, so I'd maybe not like them to uh, to work in there. We'll get this path all the way out to there. Connect that down the middle there. And then we'll do the same for this one, but this one's going to be slightly different. Right, now we're getting narrower and narrower over here, which means this path here is not straight. That's okay, because we're probably not going to put any uh, more houses down here. This guy's just going to be Super unfortunate. Uh, right, infrastructure. Now, I'd like to use some of the standard stuff as well. So, educational equipment for citizens. Yeah, like we could get... You've got to be kidding me. That won't fit in there. Nah, it must. I think if I delete the paths, it will actually go in there. So remove that, get that, yes. This will go. Add that in there. It looks slightly squint, but it's okay because this part here is slightly squint. Now this one's just a one. One worker, right? There is a modded one. I'm going to swap it out for the modded one because the modded one has three workers. Now how it works is buildings that have just one person in them, right? There will, instead of like buildings that have two people, if one person leaves, the building continues productivity. Uh, which is fine, right? But... A building that have, has one worker, when that person leaves, there is a time, a gap, between when the next person comes. And that's when you get people that turn up and then say, oh, I can't do sport because there's no one working there. Now, if you've got multiple ones, the chances are that they might go to one where someone is working. But if they go to one and there's no one there, they won't walk to the next one. They'll just go home. It'll come up as one of these. Can't go to school, can't work, no kindergarten, places without power, uh, can't do sport, can't get meat, clothes, food, etc. So that is what happens. It works the same way as the shops, really. If there's no sellers in the shops, you can't get... The people can't get in to get food, and that's why they, they get super upset. But this is the start of this. Now, this is going to be super polluting. And I'm going to get like a row of trees and place it down here. Now, I know we haven't done much today. We'll get a lot more done tomorrow. So we'll build up the village. We'll get some shops in, uh, fire brigades, clinics, stuff like that. And then I'm going to move out here. And like over here, we're going to build like a logging camp and stuff that's like separate. Now, this village here will be a city area. Right, I want to rename this. We are going to name it after Vodkas. So, this is Finlandia. Finlandia is really nice uh, vodka, so I really like that. Now, one thing I'll show you that's really cool, actually, is if we go to mods, and I'll do this quickly. 
go to monuments. Right, we've got stuff like this that are signs. Now you can place these. These can be placed, which is nice. And then you can actually write on them what you want them to see. And it will appear on the sign. So that's really clever. Uh, Soviet flag. We'll get a couple of Soviet flags just beside the border. Uh, we'll get some mon uh, monuments. Monuments? Monuments and stuff. We'll build like a park here. I think I'm going to do like a village square or something. In here and have the shops around it. So we'll do that. Yeah, like something like this. Or uh, Stella. I just want a sign so that when people come in through the border, they can see where they're sort of coming into. Like this would be nice. Right, so. This here. Construction, right. Can't build you infrastructure. I would have that would have been really nice if it just went there. Yeah, that's kind of in the way. Everything is in the way, apparently. Alright, so build one there. And try and build one over here. Right, now. I also need a path that heads up there. Right. I'm going to change this, so don't build this yet. Now, if I make this transparent, right? Caps Lock Finlandia save zoom in Finlandia there we go and we'll get this one as well transparent Finlandia save all right actually get those built I want to see what they look like that's pretty cool Finlandia and we'll get a couple of signs at the other side as well Right, so people are going go to the bus stop and stuff. We don't have any of that set up as of yet. I am going to seriously micromanage where people sort of work and stuff. Uh, That's going to be something I'm going to do. But we're going to leave it there for that episode. So the makings of our little village of Finlandia is coming along. This is just to get basically these two industries. That's all we want these people to support. And then we can get power to move on to the next area we're going to be supplying. And this looks like a bitumen plant, but it's a wood power plant. And I suppose it's kind of cool. I'm happy to have that like so, even though it looks nothing like any kind of power plant. And this one as well is pretty cool. So we're going to have to get the wood up and going, which is fine. Uh, but yeah, we're going to leave it there for that episode as always if you did watch this and you would like to leave a like comment or dislike please feel free to do so and if there's more you'd like to see in the future then hit that subscribe button but i've been danny boy this has been uh, workers and resources soviet republic and i will catch you later